Namaste students, welcome to culture course class. In today's class we are going to learn about the lesson Brahma goes to forest. So here we begin. There was a king called King Dasaratha. He ruled over Ayodhya. He had three wives. Okay. His three queens. Their names were Kausalya, Sumitra and Kaikeyi. So they had four sons. Dasaratha and his queens had four sons. Kausalya's son Rama, Sumitra's sons Shatrugna and Lakshmana and Kaikeyi's son Bharata. So one day King Dasharatha decides to make Rama his eldest son as his crown prince. So he makes the necessary arrangements for the coronation. Okay, coronation means Pattabhishekam. Everyone in the kingdom are very very happy about this news that Rama is going to be the future king, the would be king. So even Dasharatha wanted to give the responsibilities of the kingdom to his son Rama. Everyone were very happy. People were rejoicing. They were celebrating. But there were some evil minds which came in the way. So Manthara was the servant maid of Queen Kaikeyi. She had a hump over her back. So when she comes to know about this news that Rama is going to be the crown prince, she rushes to her queen. Kaike and she says, Oh madam, Rama is becoming the crown prince. King Dasharatha is making Rama the crown prince. She says that. Kaike is smilingly, very happily, she says that, I am very happy. Rama is a very good boy. He deserves to be the crown prince. She says that. But Mantara, her servant, spoils her mind. So Kaikeyi asked Dasharatha that for her two wishes. The first one was that her son Bharata should become the crown prince. And the second one that Rama should leave the palace and go on an exile. He should be banished from the palace. He should be sent to the forest for 14 years. He has to spend there. After hearing this verse from uh, Kaiki, Dasharatha says that why I am living here? Let me die. Okay, I don't want to live anymore. He couldn't imagine his uh, dearest son Rama going to forest. He was like tears were rolling from his eyes. Just then Rama hears this conversation between his father and his mother Kaiki. He enters and he approaches his father and says that, Dear father, don't worry. I will abide by the instructions of my parents and I will go to the forest. It is my duty to fulfill the wishes of my parents. And he sets out to the forest. While he was moving, his brother Lakshmana says that, Dear brother, what will I do here in this palace without you? It is my duty to join you and help you in the forest. And he also joins Rama. So Rama's wife Sita, she says that, I too will accompany you to the forest. What will I do? My world is with you only. Whether it is a forest or whether it is a town. Lord Rama says that, it is a forest Sita, you can't live there. Because it is infested by wild animals and evil demons. Still Sita cries and says that as a wife I, I will be with you wherever you are. I should be there and she too joins. So Lord Rama, his brother Lakshmana and Sita they all set to the forest. They start to the forest. So that was the lesson students. Let us try to recall some points. Uh, the question for you is, who were the three queens of Dasharatha? Okay, three wives of Dasharatha. Okay, have a look at this. 
King Dasharatha ruled over Ayodhya. His three wives were, three queens were Kausalya, Sumitra and Kaiti. Kausalya, Sumitra and Kaiti. They had four sons. Kausalya's son Rama, Sumitra's sons, two sons, okay, they were twins. Lakshmana and Shatrugna, Kaiti's son Bharata. Okay, King Dasharatha had three queens, Kausalya, Sumitra and Kaikeyi. They had four sons, Rama, Rama, Lakshmana, Shatrugna and Bharata. Okay. After this event, Dasharatha spent many happy years ruling the kingdom. He naturally thought of handing over the reins of the kingdom to his eldest son Ram. Who was the son of Kausalya? The king was very joyful on the auspicious day. People in the kingdom were rejoicing and eagerly looked forward to Ram's coronation. King Dasharatha's third consort was Kaikeyi. She too was very affectionate towards Ram. But she got carried away by her maid Mantara's advice and decided that she wanted her son Bharata to take over the throne. A long time ago, the king had promised that he would fulfill two of her wishes. In fulfillment of these wishes, she demanded that the king should crown Bharata as the crown prince and send Ram to the forest for 14 years. Kaikeyi, how can you ask me to send Ram to the forest for 14 years? What harm has he done to you? I do not want to hear anything, my lord. Please fulfill my wish. I want my son to rule the kingdom. Father, I will abide by Mother Kaikeyi's words. I will go and live in the forest. I cannot tolerate this. I don't want to live. Let me die. Father, Bharata is my brother. He will rule the kingdom in my absence. Please do not worry. I will be back after 14 years. Lakshman was the son of Sumitra, the second consort of King Dasharatha. Brother, I will also come with you. The forest is a dangerous place. You should stay here and assist Brother Bharata. Brother, I am going to come with you. No one can stop me. Sita, stay in the palace. I will meet you after I have completed my exile. My lord, wherever you live will be home for me. I can never ever dream of being separated from you. Even if I die, let me be with you. I must come with you. Sita, you do not know how harsh life in the jungle can be. It is not a cozy royal garden. Wild animals and evil demons infest it. You will have to live on roots and wild fruits. Whether it is a jungle or a town, it is my duty to be with you. I do not care for comforts here. Tears began pouring down her cheeks. Ram was moved by Sita and Lakshman's affection and compassion. Finally, he took both of them to the forest with him. Let us recall the important events in this lesson, right? King Dasharatha wanted to make Rama his eldest son, the crown prince. Okay? King Dasharatha wanted to make Rama his eldest son, the crown prince. And second one, Manthara was the maid servant of Queen Kaikeyi. Who was Manthara? Mantara was a servant maid, okay, of Queen Kaikeyi. What does Mantara do? 
Mantra spoils the mind of Kaikeyi. Okay, you know what she says to Queen Kaikeyi, right? And Kaikeyi helps Dasharatha in a battle, okay, long back when there was a battle between Devas and Asuras, uh, Kaikeyi helps Dasharatha. When the chariot's axle breaks, okay, she holds the axle with her hand and she supports Dasharatha. So at that moment, Dasharatha blesses her, gives her two boons, okay, saying that, ask for any two wishes, I will fulfill them, right? Then, Dasharatha's, uh, then when Kaikeyi asked for these two wishes, the first wish was that King, uh, his, her son Bharata should become the crown prince instead of Rama. And her second wish was Rama should leave the palace and move to the forest. He should live there for 14 years. These were the two wishes of Kaikeyi. When Dasharatha hears these words, his reply was that, why I am living? I, just leave me to die. How can I imagine my son to move to the forest? Okay, but Kaikeyi says that you have to keep your words. Then Dasharatha says, okay, what I have promised, uh, I'll keep my words. Right? That was Dasharatha's reply. And along with Rama, who all went with Rama to the forest? Along with Rama, his brother Lakshmana and his wife, Accompany him to the forest. Okay, they to go with him to the forest. So, hope you have understood this lesson. How and why Rama goes to the forest. Okay, this is the lesson. So, is there anything to learn from this story? Okay, Dasharatha keeps his words. Okay, to wounds which he gives. Okay, to wishes he give, which he gives to his wife. He keeps his words. As a son, Lord Rama follows the instructions and abide by the rules of his parents. As a wife, Sita also follows Rama wherever, no matter whether it is a forest or a town, I will be with you. Right? And brother Lakshmana also, we, we can learn that as a brother, he needs to support his, he says that my duty is to support my elder brother, help him everywhere. Right students? Thank you. Have a nice day.